ex-international Tajide Nolu Shegun Disu has been confirmed as the chairman of the Lagos State Chapter of the Youth Sports Federation of Nigeria, that's the YSFON, and Disu, who's, who's also the Commissioner for Agriculture, Youth, Sports and Social, Social Development of Surulere Local Government in Lagos, has been tagged as the right man for the job at this moment in history. I will be having him join us on, on, on air as we get to talk about his new um, appointment and what we'll be expecting from him. But yes, we keep talking about grassroots sports and uh, the way to move it forward. Tajuddin is an ex-international and he knows, we know that he's going to bring good tidings. Well, uh, I feel like uh, when you have somebody who has actually played the game before, somebody mm. who understands the game, a person who has the mentality, I feel mm. that is the right way forward. You can't just take, uh, you're going to put somebody with engineering qualities into grassroots. So, Putting him there is, is actually the best decision. Mm. All right, we have him on standby right now, Tajuddin Disu. Thank you for joining us. Hello, thank you very much. And uh, once thank again, you. congratulations on your appointment. Thank you very much. Now, let's talk about thank the appointment. Now, what should we be expecting from you and what does the role entail? Uh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. First of all, you know, I appreciate this call and I will, I will say this. Um, number one is that, you know, we just have to go back to grassroots and make sure we make it vibrant again. Yeah. I remember vividly when I was in school and growing up as a young guy, without grassroots football, I think I probably won't make it to the level I made it. And it makes it make a lot of a lot of us. When you're talking about Kenry, you're talking about Stephen Ketchy, talking about Paulo Koko, Tyler Okoro, we all, you know, graduated. We graduated from Houston to the Flying Eagles, Flying Eagles to the Senior National Team. And suddenly, when the grassroots program, you know, got, just got abandoned, and they now go out and bring players who most of them did not even go through grassroots, bring them to come and play. That is why today, Today, we're not doing good as we used to do because there was process then. And then because we all graduated from the grassroots program, and at that time, at that time, there is no way you will not, you will not, you know, um, go through grassroots before you get, you, you graduate to the, to the, to the other level. And I say this, I think I'm happy and I'm excited. And, for me to have been saddled with this responsibility, I'm going to do my, make sure I do my best to bring, you know, football back to what it used to be. Mm. All right. Now, looking at your, you, I know you've not selected your team yet, but what are we expecting to get from you concerning the kind of people that will be working with you? Would they be ex-internationals or would they be people who just know um, the job? Well, I, I, I will have to tell you this. I think I'm an advocate of, you know, put the right peg in the round hole. A lot of things is wrong when we talk about sports generally in Nigeria compared to when we were doing sports mm -hmm. for Nigeria. I think we, we, we abandon the basic need and I'm, I'm going to tell you this. When you put a square peg in a round hole, we will get the results we've been getting. That program will be abandoned. When you start with the responsibility to go there and develop game, and the first thing you're thinking about is how much you're going to make, that job will suffer. And that's exactly what will be happening. People that are saddled with this responsibility are people who have no clue about the game, people who doesn't have passion, because you must have passion for something before you go ahead and do it right. Yes. So most of us who did this, who went through this grassroots uh, program and later to the senior national team, and later, you know, went up, uh, out of the country to go abroad and either continue our education or whatever, we find it very difficult to believe what is happening in Nigerian football is there. It's all about all this corruption that thing has to, uh, uh, has to be taken care of. Mm. You know, one thing I'm saying that in, the, in, the, in life, definitely you want to better your life, but you have to do things the right way. When you abandon the job that you are saddled with and you just want, all you want to do is just to make money, the job will suffer. And I'm telling you this, I'm not going to, I'm not going to bring it on board. Anybody that I know does not even know the game. Mm -hmm. If you have not played, if you have played the game, if you play this game, you will know the technicality is what we're talking about now. Mm -hmm. If you tell me, if you, if you now tell me because you have all the degrees in the world, you go there and read sports management, you go there and read it and you will know the, you won't definitely know the technicality of the game. That is where we have edge over anybody. We are all, uh, most of us are graduates too. I went to invite in America. 
God scholarship in Alabama here and University with a lot of other uh, Nigerian Health International. And like, back here in Nigeria, when you talk to, about the light of Shekwon Dekwami at OK, you talk about all these people who are who will be and that. They are all graduates. These are people who can do it. But suddenly what happened in Nigeria is that you just don't want to see the ex-internationals or ex footballers Why? Because of most of them, what they are interested in the money. And when you get there as a next player, you want to do the next thing. You want to take care of the players. You want to pay the coaches. You want to make sure the right thing are done. Even if you don't get the necessary, that you will do the right thing. So that is what that's been lacking in Abuja. And when you talk about youth fund, I think I thank God to be I have the opportunity to now come and give back to 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 make sure all these youth have life because it is because they gave us the opportunity to play grassroots football. That was how we have the opportunity to get scholarship to go travel to, to go study in America and bringing back what we have acquired, bringing back. You know, all our experience to come and help the youth is something that I'm, I'm, I'm happy about. Mm. So when you're happy doing something, you will do it right. right. But once you're not happy, <laughs> there's no way you do it right. So I think I'm happy now, and I'm going to make sure I put on board X player. It might not be an X international, but once you play the game, earn money from the game, I think you will know what should be done. Mm. And that's the Zale. It is pure professional. And that's exactly the way I'm going. And I'm sure by the grace of God, we will do well. Uh, very well said uh, right there. And of course, we've seen a couple of ex-internationals take, char take charge of um, a particular appointment, the likes of uh, Joseph Yobo being the assistant coach to the Super Eagles. There's also JJ Okocha, who got some appointments in Delta. And uh, of course, the recent one was Daniel Amokachi uh, being called by the, the president to be a special advisor. So it, it's a great thing to know that ex-internationals are gradually coming back to the sporting scene and we say uh, we wish you the very best in your endeavor. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. I wish you guys the very best of luck. All right. Please continue to stay safe out there. And once again, congratulations on your appointment. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. Yes, ex-internationals are gradually coming back to the scene. And we just believe that this is one of the steps that we need to take to bring our sports back to glory days from the grassroots to the elites. Yeah, I want to agree with him before what he said. You know, you have to have people that understand the game. Mm -hmm. Not just bringing somebody that actually studied mathematics, mm. does not know anything about mm, sports, exactly. and come and bring the person in. At the end of the day, we have issues, and mm. we won't even get the development that we set out to get. Mm. 